y'all there is no such thing as a lukewarm christian let me explain all right so where the term lukewarm even comes from is from revelation 3 16. i know all things you do that you are neither hot nor cold i wish that you were one or the other but since you are like lukewarm water neither hot nor cold i will spit you out of my mouth it doesn't make sense to be a lukewarm christian it is a contradiction to even say such a thing think about what the text is saying right if you're spitting something out, do you plan on scooping it back up and putting it back in your mouth? Absolutely not. When you spit something out, you were completely rejecting it. You want no part of it. So with that being said, if you're getting spat out of God's mouth, that's not a good place to be, right? And he's saying, I, I'd much rather you choose. It's either you are 10 toes down for the Lord or you're 10 toes down for the world. There is no in between. I have used the term myself, but let me tell you this. I reject that word. I denounce that. Lukewarm Christianity is not a thing. It's not a thing. You are fraudulent. You are absolutely walking in the ways of darkness and you don't even know it. So now we make a term lukewarm Christian to basically give excuses as to why a child of God is not operating as such. So you have to make a decision. Am I going to live for the Lord 100%? Not saying that you won't make a mistake. Not saying that you you won't slip up. A righteous man falls seven times, but he get back up, okay? You can no longer call yourself a Christian and live directly opposite of what the life God has called for you to live. It's either your will or his will. There is no more in between. There was never an in between to begin with. So whoever told you that there's a middle ground to being a believer is a liar. And they're not telling the truth about the gospel. They're not telling the truth about the word of God. No. There is never a good time for compromise. You are either enlisted in the army of the Lord or you are in the army of the kingdom of darkness. Okay? All right. Repent. How about we all repent in Jesus' name?